it's your girl Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing episode 3 of my Tita Meg reacting to a Filipino group that I love and adore, okay? Like I am introducing her to Filipino music because I want her to see what I love and I hope she loves it just as much as I do. I hope she's excited. Um, again, she may give constructive criticism, which is always allowed. You should always be honest. I want an honest reaction. Um, so she may be like, it's not my vibe, but in my family, we know to be polite about it. There's no reason to be harsh or anything like that. So I'm curious on what she's going to think of first one because I'm doing their debut and their vibe changes with each MV. So, <laughs> tak majina. So I am excited because first one was actually the second actual P-pop group that Emmy and I reacted to. And we love them. And back then it was like a war zone. Fandom wars between uh, SB19 and first one. All that fun stuff. It's not fun. I hate fandom wars. I really honestly do. It's pointless. Um, especially since they're friends with each other. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't support fandom wars. Stop. We want P-pop to rise, support each other, support each group. Let's let the world know about the Philippines and Filipino like music and culture. Let's do that, guys. Like I'm over here in the America, okay? And I'm just so fascinated by the Filipino culture and music and everything like that, that it's exciting. So I just don't like it when people bring each other down. I, it's not my vibe, guys. It's not mine. So I'm going to have my Tita Meg react to Takamajuna which is their debut, which is what I've been doing. Um, I'm also going to have her react to Turn Up. Oh, I love the song. I think it's just so fun, so playful and everything like that. It's one of my favorites. And then I'm going to have her do the most recent one, which is Problem Child, which Emmy and I have reacted to as well. I just don't think Emmy got a chance to edit it um, on Mori Mori yet because if you guys are aware, she edits for Mori Mori Entertainment, and I edit for our Patreon because it's a 50-50. Um, to, to keep things at bay and make sure everything is supposed to go accordingly. So I've been focusing on Patreon, making sure everyone on there is satisfied for the Mori Mori Patreon. Uh, I will be having my own Patreon soon as well. So I am doing a lot, guys, for you guys. I am curious on what she's going to think of Problem Child too, because like I said, each one's a different vibe. You got Tech Majina, well, Tech Majina and Problem Child are kind of similar, I guess, with the baddie vibe. So, mm, I don't know. And then you got your playful one with Turn Up. So I don't know how she's going to feel. I'm curious though. I am really curious. I am also very scared because I hold all these precious to me, like all these groups and everything like that. So I'm over here like... Oh, be nice to my babies. <laughs> Please tell me you're going to like them. Don't call me weirdo. Don't judge me, <laughs> you know? And I don't mean that she will. It's just, like I said, I live in, like, a small town. No one really listens to other cultures, like, music, meaning K-pop, J-pop, all that stuff. It's, like, very on the down low. It's just how it is. It's just like how anime used to be back in my day. We'd be looked at, like, why are you watching that? It's it's childish, rah, 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 rah. you know, it's one of those things. So I am showing her a side of me. So I'm excited to see what she thinks of it. Um, with that being said, I'm going to end this intro. And by the time the video starts, she will be here and she'll do her intro. Love you guys. Let me introduce okay. yeah. All right. All right, guys, this is my Tita Meg. Uh, Hello. You wanna, you wanna introduce yourself. Oh, introduce myself yeah. again. I'm Tita Meg. Um, Aunt Meg. Yes. That's right. Yes. Her favorite aunt. So we have to say that. <laughs> um, and this is my first time experiencing P-pop. Uh, so I'm super excited. I just experienced the band SB19. Correct. They were awesome. Mm -hmm. One of them's going to call me. <laughs> and so she wishes. Um, now we're going to do this next one. So this is first one. First one. Uh, oh, we are going to be one, reacting to Tak Majina, which mm -hmm. is You Are The One. Oh. It goes hard. So don't oh. be like, oh, because, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. not going to be cutesy. Okay. Um, so with them, there's quite a few members. So you have Joker. Mm -hmm. You have Ace. Mm -hmm. You have Max. Mm -hmm. You have Jay. Mm -hmm. You have um, Jason. Mm -hmm. You have Alpha. Mm -hmm. 
Um, let me double check. That's that's all. Okay, that might be a little And then watch. sometimes mm -hmm. they have a another member that's a special member called Gift. Oh, why is he special? He's not in all MVs. I don't know. That's weird. Mm, it is. He's busy. He is. Oh, okay. So he's a special, right. he's a special member. He's a gift. Mm -hmm. He's a gift. He is. He's a gift when they arrive. Mm -hmm. You never know when he's going to come. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's pretty much what it is. Perfect. So I will say in the beginning, uh, first one in SB19, there was a lot of fandom wars between the two. I am not. Ooh. A, mm -hmm. a lot of fans were just saying first one just because they are now the second group that was really introduced. Uh, pushing the, the second limit. P pop. Yes. I mean, there have been older groups before, but the ones that are really hitting now. Okay. So SB19 is really like the main one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then first one was the second group that really introduced themselves. Okay. Then it will be BGYO. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are the three set in stone, pretty much. Okay. So I'm going to introduce you to them. We're going to listen to their debut song. So this is the first uh, MV that they came out with. Okay. All right. Here okay. we go. Let me move this over here mm -hmm. first. Before I get confused on what you reacted to. Okay. Ooh. So high tack around here. Sometimes. So much stuff. <laughs> All right, here you go. Okay. And I have subtitles on for you. Good. Now, I like this song. I don't know why. It's very catchy for me. I like the dance. It goes hard. The get it, huh? Mm -hmm. Get it, get it. So this reminds me of some uh, Japanese movie, which is called, um, well, a lot of their school fighting movies. I like that they're wearing like a private school uniforms here. Well, over in a lot of other countries, they have school uniforms. They don't wear oh. public clothes. Nice. That's Alpha. Joker. Actually, I like him. Stop going for my people. Is that your guy? We have such great taste. Actually, I noticed him, like, because I just go for looks at first. So I noticed him right off, and I was like, he's the guy with the half shaved head in the back. <laughs> I like him. Because his hair's got some volume going on, and he's cute. I need him to move up front. He, he's going. See, there he is. Oh, I like that dance. Max is a fantastic dancer. Which one's Max? That one, one yeah. right there? Yeah. So you like Joker. Mm -hmm. okay. That guy, he, he's, he looks like he's young. He looks very young. That's Jay. I wonder if they like a special school they go to learn all this dancing. No. Hmm. You work hard, you get trainers. Mm -hmm. You practice over and over and out. Like they may practice for five plus hours. Mm. That's how they stay so fit. Mm -hmm. I like their outfits. Mm -hmm. It's more harder. Yeah. Like bad boy vibe. Yeah, definitely bad boy vibe. Well, you missed Joker ripped open his tank top, showed his chest. Oh, no, I saw that. Okay. Surprised you think comment. I'm just so used to seeing half naked men. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is. That would be time. Around here, you see it. Quite a bit.
Yeah, these are some bad boys here. Mm-hmm. But I'm about to show you their next send me. A 180 from this. Mmm. Some versatility. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was a word. Janet's favorites, Alpha and Joker, so. Oh, Janet's, Janet's trying to steal some Joker too? Uh, Emmy. Oh, oh Emmy's say? favorite Emmy. is uh, Joker too? Well, Joker and Alpha. I'm just gonna have a little uh, competition going on. Mm -hmm. So that's that. I like that one. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on, mm -hmm. so I get it. And then that's their logo. Pretty nifty, right? Mm -hmm. So that's First that. one, entertainment. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next one I'm going to have you react to by them. I love it. I think it's very um, summer vibe, spring vibe, playful, have fun type thing. And they're going to be at the United, or not United, Enchanted Kingdom, which is an amusement park in the Philippines. Mm. So they're gonna, obviously going to have fun. Okay. They have different hair color because where's my blonde hair guy? Shaved head. Wow. Well. First Joker. First one. <laughs> First one. Mm -hmm. So uh, Joker is oh, right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see. So Joker's right there. So I have to say I like the other hairstyle better. Well, Just put it's it because out there. in one of the MVs it's, that I'm not having you react to, he actually shaved his head in it. Oh. Mm -hmm. so, so tell me, so this one is after it. Yeah. This one so is he's after drawing his hair video. back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he still looks No, nice. he's still super cute. <clears throat> super cute. But I do like the shave look as well. Nice full lips. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't we all want those? I wish. Most people pay money for those. Yep. Turn up. I will say there, are, you may not understand this, but there are going to be certain parts of this MV that's going to indicate other P-pop groups. So get in the zone. Uh, that's for SB19. Mm -hmm. The baddest that stands for BGYO, mm -hmm. which I have you reacting to mm -hmm. uh, BGYO, but you're not reacting to the baddest. So there's certain references that they're supporting other P-pop groups that you just wouldn't understand right now. So I have to say before you unpause, mm -hmm. <clears throat> those white shoes. Mm -hmm. Girls wear in mm -hmm. America, so I've never seen boys wear them. Kids, they're actually I'm very popular fan. for a lot of groups over on the other side. Yeah, they like. I'm to just wear not boots. a fan of the boys wearing them. I don't think, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, I don't even know if I like girls wearing them. Yeah, this one's a totally different vibe. Mm -hmm. But I like it. He's the Boonzo, so he's the youngest. Yeah, he looks like the youngest. to hang out with. Mm -hmm. They just seem fun to hang out with. Mm -hmm. And shout out is their MV. That's the one that Joker buzzed his hair. Mm. And they all have different voices too, but they all go well together. Mm -hmm. Blend nicely. Yeah, they do. Oh, look at those eyes. Mm -hmm. That's alpha. Actually, I might be changing my guy up for this one. Mm 
You don't like, like Alpha? Alpha? I do. I like the deep of his voice. I like his eyes. He looks like he's tough. Uh -huh. He's got a little hip hop in him. Oh, good. So you can you can fight Emmy now. Oh, it's on. <laughs> And there's parts that even international fans can chime in and sing along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the like refrain on this one, mm -hmm. and I like the beat. Mm So it was nice for them to come out with a bunch of, oh, you did a heart, that's cute. Mm -hmm. They kind of did a heart too. Yeah. So those are all fans and such. Cute. Mm -hmm. So they're very close to their fans. No, that's cute. So that's another thing compared to uh, American artists and other groups. Ah, life's challenges. Are yeah. eternal. So they give little nice meanings as well. But that's one thing that I like compared to other cultures' music compared to ours mm -hmm. is that they're more one on one and with fans. Mm -hmm. They want to interact more. They want to um, build that bond. Mm -hmm. So that's why yeah. for a lot of their concerts, you're able to buy like VIP, where you can get like a photo op with them. You can get yeah. a signed album, like a moment to chat with them, something like that. Not so standoffish. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really appreciate about a lot of these other cultures. All right. So this is their latest one, Problem Ooh, Child. So problem they're going child. back kind of dark again. Yeah, dark and a little mm -hmm. funky and emo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you don't see, right here is your Joker man. Where's my other one? Alpha, right here. Oh, yeah. And then you have Jay. Mm -hmm. This is Ace. Mm -hmm. This is Max and Jason. Hmm. So yeah, we're like how Max has the line makeup. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat looking. Mm -hmm. I feel like Max doesn't get as much appreciation as he deserves. He's a fantastic dancer. Yeah. All right. So yeah, here we go. I wonder mm -hmm. if any of them will go solo. Like what happens with a lot of boy bands in America? So normally, a lot of groups will not go solo until their group is established pretty well and they have a good fan base. Mm -hmm. Because then you know your fans are going to support your solo career or get curious, and then you're building a new group as well. Don't test me. Don't test me. Don't test me. Don't test me. Yeah, this one's definitely tougher again. Mm -hmm. See, I like tougher. Yeah. I think it hits harder. But then they go soft. Yeah. I see. But they got the, the flashy cars up in this one. Oh, yeah. You saw the Lamborghini. Mm -hmm.
So sometimes I mean we'll watch the MV and then we'll watch the dance practice. And normally watching the full dance mm -hmm. brings the song more to life. Mm. Man. Oh, yeah. I think Joker would look nice with the neck tattoo. Uh huh. Maybe you should get a neck tattoo, babe. I'll pass. <laughs> This one's catchy. Mm -hmm. You know, this one has a lot of catchy like lyrics in it. So like you and your kids could chime in. Mm -hmm. So someone just cheated because someone had a Joker card in them. Mm. Called out the cheater. Oh no. Now they look like race car drivers. That's fine. Or motorbike. Oh, or motorbike. That makes it cooler. Mm -hmm. Cause they gotta go away. Jump on a bike, go. Uh, are they going to? Who knows? Oh. I'd like to see me some crotch rockets. See, they were faking it. Do you see it? Oh. They were getting the entail. Oh. So they have the information. Nice, nice movie plot with this one. Yep. And they got the money. Hmm. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. Now, the youngest member looks like he could be an actor in a K-drama, which you wouldn't understand that. But I've never seen a K-drama. But Janet would, possibly. Janet agree. does. Janet watches K-dramas. She watches like romantic so, dramas. So it will give you a little photos of each one. Oh, oh yeah. like it was a movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's all of that. So that was first one for you. Huh. What do you have to say? What do you think? I liked first one. I still think I'm going to be a SB19 fan more. As of right now, they're just mm -hmm. producing the style for you. Now, mind you, you haven't listened to all of first ones yet. No. So they no, may don't. have a different song that I haven't had you react to that mm -hmm. may change your mind. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, you went from a Joker to an Alpha fan. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. At least I don't have to fight you right now, so that's yeah. all good. And sometimes, you know, like the first one you experience, mm -hmm. you're like more prone to liking them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no, I mean these these people were good too. A little bit more dark. And you're more of a bright person. So you like yes. turned up. Yes. Yes. Because I was very I colorful. like like music that's like mm -hmm. fun and like, you know, poppy and you can dance to. Well, and, me and I listen to all varieties from rock to whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I understand the sentimental thing because mm -hmm. when it comes to me getting into a group, normally the first song I hear from them is mm -hmm. normally my favorite song. Mm -hmm. So, Tuck Majina was my song I'm mm -hmm. very sentimental with, mm -hmm. but Turn Up is one of those ones that have grown on me majorly that I love, mm -hmm. and I'll listen to more, mm -hmm. but Tuck Majina, I will always say it's number one. Yeah. Just like Go Up and Bazinga are my like two favorites. One, sentimental with, the other one, it's I relate to the most. Yeah. And in, in without K Poppy or P Poppy, mm -hmm. I am normally a country fan, but this 180. morning, 180. when I was running, I was listening to Akon and T.I., oh, so it wow. just depends on what I'm doing, mm -hmm. but in the car, depends on my mood, but most of the time I listen to country or more like poppy stuff, and then I have a daughter who makes me listen to all this tiktok -y music, mm. like um, going to a Jaden concert. Jaden's emo, kind of. These She's into alternative emo. music. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hers is more alternative. Mm -hmm. But this is really neat because Vic 
Victoria, I've never listened to this music before, so I'm starting to get it. Mm -hmm. I get your vibe. I like it. I See do. How it's a little more creative compared it's to very American creative. artists. Well, and I love how they dance, mm -hmm. you know, and I think they just have many, many talents, you that know, where do. sometimes you just get somebody who just has the vocals, mm -hmm. you know, or some people really are there because of their looks and their dancing, and they don't have the vocals, True. even though they portray it that way. But mm -hmm. yeah, so no, I like these guys. Mm -hmm. I think they seem fun. They're probably fun in real life. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, I don't know personally, like, do they get in trouble or are they like, you know, they like, no, no. So yeah. So they just seem like, like good people. Good yes. people. They Fun actually, people. first one was actually in, uh, Josh from SB19's most mm -hmm. recent, so, well, his debut as a solo artist, Envy. Oh. So they were dancing in there. So you can tell that the groups are friends with each other, which nice. I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. You would think you'd have to be. Especially if it's such a small group, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That you would kind of stick together. And that, I mean, there'd be no, competition. No one else but... is going to understand what you go through other than another group. Mm -hmm. What emotional, mentally, physically, and. Yeah. All well, and touring stuff. takes a big, big toll. Like, yes. I don't know how these people do it. Like, I'd yeah. be exhausted. You know, they're in like a different town every single day. Mm -hmm. Different programs, I'd be like waking up at different times. Yeah. So they're going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Well, no, awesome. All right. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. And this was so satisfying. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to say, right? <laughs> you can say whatever so you want. satisfying. Who's this? You're saying you know. that because of your kid. Yeah. That's what every single YouTube person I hear says. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so satisfying. This was so That's satisfying. That's from like MS or AMSR. Or it's like if we're playing slime. slime. Yeah. Slime, slime and like. Oh, yeah. AMSR. Yes. ASMR. I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh, this is the wrong YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said guys we're gonna let you go and she's gonna react to more yay you guys. bye guys i'll do this for y'all know how to do this for me i flip the game on this chair 180 degrees baby